This week we also looked at algebra sums, um, in particular linear equations and balanced equations. The first examples we're going to work through today are the linear equations. So if we look at this example here, we have 2q minus 19 equals 13. We need to solve this equation to find q. So when we see a number sitting next to a letter in algebra, we know that it is multiplying that letter. So we have effectively here 2 times q minus 19 equals 13. So to solve this equation, ideally we need to get q on its own, and we're going to do that in several steps. So if we look here, I'm going to keep 2q here, and it currently equals 13. And I'm going to move minus 19 across to join the 13. Now, when a number moves across the equal sign, it has to do the opposite on the other side. So the opposite of minus 19 would be plus 19. So we have plus 19. So therefore, we can work out that 2q equals 32. So now I need to find the value of 1q to solve for q. So this 2 is currently multiplying. If I move this across, I would have 32, and instead of timesing by 2, I would be dividing by 2. So 32 divided by 2 equals 16, so the value of q is 16.